let's discuss Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Jewish and the Christian scriptures. The Bible is divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament contains the stories before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And the New Testament contains the lifetime of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. The Catholics, they believe in 73 books, whereas the Protestants, they have thrown out seven books as apocrypha, that is doubtful. And they only believe in 66 books. First, we'll discuss Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Jewish scriptures. Especially the Old Testament. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, Almighty God says, I shall raise them for profit from among thy brethren like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command. Many of the Christians say that this prophecy, it refers to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And when we ask them that how does this prophecy refer to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, so they say, here the prophecy says, I shall raise them for profit from among thy brethren like unto thee. The prophet to come should be like Moses, peace be upon him. And the similarities that they give between prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, are that both of them were Jews and both of them were messengers of God. If these two are the only similarities of fulfillment of prophecies, then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible after prophet Moses, peace be upon him, they fulfill the prophecy. For example, Solomon, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Daniel, Joel, John the Baptist, all of them are Jews and all of them prophets of God. If these two are the only similarities of fulfillment of prophecy, then there are several prophets that are mentioned in the Bible that fulfill the prophecy. Thus, this prophecy does not befit anyone but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If we analyze Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, both of them, they had a mother and they had a father. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he had a mother, whereas he did not have a father. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 45, that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. A similar message is mentioned in the Bible. It is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 1, verse number 18, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 1, verse number 35, that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, if you analyze, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they got married and they had children. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not get married, nor did he have children. Furthermore, if you analyze, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they had a natural death. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not have a natural death. It is mentioned in the glorious Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 157 and 158, that he was raised up alive. Many of the Christians, they argue that he was crucified. If I agree with the Christian for sake of argument that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was crucified, irrespective whether he was crucified or raised up alive, he did not die a natural death. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, if you analyze, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they were worldly kings. They could give punishment of life and death. They had that power. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 18, verse number 36, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, my kingdom is not of this world. Furthermore, if you analyze, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they bought a new law. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not get a new law. He came to confirm the previous law. It is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 and 18. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, Think not, I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. 
So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, if we analyze Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they were accepted as prophets by the people as a whole. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 11, that he was not accepted by the people as a whole. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, it is mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, Almighty God says, I shall raise them for profit from among thy brethren like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command. The next verse, book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19, it says, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, and he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Some translations say that I will take revenge. So whosoever does not follow the prophet to come, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Almighty God will take revenge from those people. Further, it is mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12, that a book is revealed to thee, that he is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. And this is exactly what our beloved Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, man, I I am not learned. And this is the fulfillment of the prophecy that is mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12, which says, The book is revealed to thee, that he is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he's prophesied in the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. It says, Hikku Muhammad takim, we kullu Muhammadim, zehdudi wa zehrai, bayna Jerusalem. His mouth is most sweet. He's altogether lovely. This is my beloved. This is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. In Hebrew, Im is added as respect. So if to Muhammad, Im is added, so it becomes Muhammadim. If to Elo, Im is added, so it becomes Elohim. Let's discuss Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Christian scriptures, in the New Testament. It's mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157. Those who follow the unlettered prophet whom they would find mentioned in the scriptures, in the law and in the gospel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 49, and Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6. Wa rasulan ila bani Israel, and a messenger to the children of Israel. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was only sent for the Bani Israel, only for the Jews. It is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, And I shall pray to the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. It is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 26. It is mentioned, But when the comforter is come, whom I shall send unto you, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the comforter, he shall testify of me. It is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter shall not come. For if I depart, I shall send him unto you. Now the Comforter, if you analyze, in the original language, it is Paraclete, which means Comforter. And the other word is Parakletos, which means Praiseworthy. Irrespective whether it's Paraclete or Parakletos, both the meanings befit the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Many of the Christians say that this refers to the Holy Spirit. Now, if we analyze the Holy Spirit, he was there before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born. He was there in the womb of Elizabeth. He was there when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born. He was there in the Feast of Pentecost. He was there when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was baptized. So, this prophecy can surely not refer to the Holy Spirit, but refers to no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, 
I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now, for even the spirit of truth shall come. He shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For even the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall glorify me. This prophecy again refers to no one but Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And we know our beloved Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he spoke whatever was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as if the words were put into his mouth. So this prophecy befits no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We Muslims, we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. So these prophecies, they befit no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This was in brief regarding Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Christian scriptures. It was the tip of the iceberg. I would like to end my talk with a quotation from the glorious Quran from Surah Kawthar, chapter number 108, verse number 1 to 3. Inna a'tayna kal kawthar. Verily, we have granted thee the abundance. Fasalli li rabbika wanhar. Then glorify thy Lord and praise him. Inna shani akahu al abtar. Verily, who hath thee will be cut off from future hope. Wa akuru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.